What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMac and welcome back to another episode of Fade the Beast. Oh baby, you're on the Hermitcraft server playing with the ultimate pack. And man, how's everybody doing? Shoo! I've been playing around with a couple of new things which I'd like to get into today. But anyway, last time, let's just sort of review what we did. We went, we made our new Iridium Fusion Reactor. Let's see how that's going. I did a little bit of work on the floor with the design. I'm still up in the air about what I like and still planning, so we won't talk about that much. But I think it's pretty neat. Been starting to use Iridium blocks. Oh man, and look at, oh my goodness, 16 thousand iridium and guess what we have so much more we have another 322 blocks of iridium holy moly and if you don't know a block of iridium is nine iridium ingots holy smokes we are just so rich let it rain iridium holy moly we're gonna have to avoid this stuff soon anyway since last time i was goofing around I was watching, Generic B was streaming the other day, and I was watching him while he was doing that. I went and I did some more work on this room. This is the room that we have all of our nice liquids, DNA from the bees, hydrogen, all of our fusion reactor stuff, plasma, so much stuff. And of course, there's quantum tanks down here. Look at that. <laughs> Almost 400,000 plasma. I did some work on here, microblocks and deep storage units. So this will be our future storage room. I thought this was pretty neat. I'm using, I know red power is not going to be probably in the next update. So I thought I should play around with some of the stuff now before it goes. But this will be pretty cool. I'm going to set something up so that when it's low on a certain item that's being stored, a little light will go on. So pretty neat. Still playing around with it, but I want to know what you guys think of my design. I know it's a little plain, but I didn't like it first, how this was kind of uneven, and it didn't look good when it was only like one block high. I wanted it too, so I think that's pretty nice, using that extra little spot for these lamps. Anywho, we have a lot of super expensive stuff, and I think it's about time we start doing something to protect that stuff. Um, especially over here where all of our item drives are for the AE system that's storing all of our items. Holy smokes, we have so much. It takes like a year to scroll through it all. But yeah, over a thousand units? That's crazy. That is crazy. Almost 2,000 wires. And it is nowhere near complete to what we want to do. But anyway, this is a little bit of a hazard for the server because if someone were to go let's say I was standing right here and a creeper came and blew up the server would completely crash because we have so many things all in the uh, auto crafting as soon as we're below a certain amount of items it's gonna shift on and it I've already by mistake tried to rearrange some of these storage uh, disks and that itself crashed the server just by moving around some of the disks so we really have to do something to protect everything here now i've been looking at some of the other mods and take a look mffs modular modular force field system so pretty cool it looks like this is what we want to get into i'm not sure how many episodes if even beyond this one we're going to really get into this i don't know if it's a cool mod or if it's boring or what or really how in depth it is but there's a lot of neat things that you can't do in any other mod so I went ahead, and let's see if we can find it. Oh, by the way, I crafted, have now auto-craft. If we ever die, all the tools, jetpacks, even all the new armor. There's lots of new different types of armor. But I have it all set up to be able to auto-craft in our system, just in case we die. I won't have to spend a year working on it. But anyway, let's see here. Yes, I put in the auto-crafting every single thing that you see up here for the modu modular force field system. So we can just get straight to work and not worry about much of any crafting. It's a couple of things we're going to want to get into first. And I believe what we're going to need to get this started 
we're going to need to make an extractor, which isn't too crazy. And that's with this, what is it, forcelium, forcium, forcelium, something like that. So we're going to want to get some of that stuff. And that all comes from, what is it, monzite, monazite, something like that. And so we're going to want to get that guy, a capacitor, which is just four more of these crystals and all stuff. You guys already know. I won't get too into it. Um, we're going to want to get a projector. And we're going to want to get this new wrench because I don't think the normal wrenches work with this new mod. So pretty easy, pretty easy. Anyway, let's get some of this stuff crafted up. Actually, you know what? I think I already have it crafted, so I won't even worry about that. But what I do want is this wrench. Is it called a wrench? Yeah. So let's craft that bad boy. Begin. Thank you very much. Oh no, we have to charge it with FE. Yucky. Oh, let's also get some of this monzite. Probably saying that wrong. I do apologize. Now this guy, you can just put him if you want to into a furnace and it will give you four. If you put it into a macerator, it will give you eight. But you know how we roll, guys. We use the industrial grinder. And that will actually give you, I've already started doing a lot, it will give you per ore 10. That's right, 10 of it. So definitely the best way to go. Also get some of this thorium dust. Not really sure what that does, but that's not important for today. So get some more of this in all here so we can have plenty. Uh-oh. Don't want to go under. All right, we'll leave you be for now. Let's put away this excess stuff. All right, so let's run out here. I'm not going to lie. I have played around with it a little bit because it is a little bit confusing if it's your first time. So anyway, here's those machines that I was talking about that I wanted to do. Let's get this set up. I think we're going to work outside today just because it's kind of hard to see if you're in a room. I'm going to first set down an IDSU so we can get some power. Let's get that angle to this side. Let's throw down our extractor. All right. Pretty neat. So it's got MFS extractor. I think WE stands for work energy, work something left, and FE, which is the cap of energy. Okay. And here, this is where we are going to put the forcelium. And I guess what happens is when you have energy being pushed into here, it extracts force energy, the FE, and it uh, is able to power the system. So maybe that's what FE stands for, force energy capacity. That would make sense. All right, now why isn't this going on? Well, I think that's because of the redstone signal there. So let's go donk and... There we go. And now it's on. We can see it's starting to take that forcelium and, yeah, get some force energy out of it. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And there's a couple of different upgrades on this. We won't worry about that yet, but it looks like we're nowhere near our cap as of yet. But we're probably going to have to upgrade that quickly. Let's get our, our next machine. Now these, by the way, you don't have to set them right next to each other. We could space it out. We could go like, I'm just going to put it next to it, but we could space it out next to it. I also notice if I take my wrench, it is, oh, well, you know what? The Omni wrench did work on it. Interesting. But that can be up to, I think, a range of eight away. And then, of course, you can do different upgrades to change it. So let's go now. Let's grab some ID cards. That's what this thing uses, all these different ID cards. You're going to... Right click it on the capacitor, the flux capacitor, and then stick it in there. And see it went from device zero, if I take that back out, zero linked. Now it has one device linked, pretty cool. And now it is starting to get energy. Very neat, and it looks like I didn't even have to do anything with the, with a lever lever for this. So that's pretty neat. So, yeah. What can we do next? Now, let's start to put some upgrades into this. You can see this guy right here. It's already telling you the two different upgrades it needs by look. We have, where is it? Oh my goodness, where is you? I don't know why it's not right there. All right, so we have this guy here, which is gonna be an extractor booster. 
all right and if you press shift on it it shows you it works with the extractor okay then this guy is the capacity upgrade so i believe this is going to let you store more energy so this can work for both machines extractor and capacitor this guy only works with capacitor and this guy is going to increase the range so let's put all those upgrades in i see this is going fairly slow as soon as i stick this in Joop, 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 joop. It's going super fast. And boom. It's able to hold a lot more energy. So pretty neat. Let's go put upgrades in this guy. So boom, it's able to hold a lot more. It's at the capacity is increased. And then this, I'm not sure if this is the range for how far away items can be or how far away it can be from here. I really don't know. It's going to be, let's see, transmit range. So I guess, you know what, it's probably between this and all other blocks that are linked up with this. And the capacitor really is kind of the hub, I think, of the system. Whereas the extractor is just the thing that extracts to get energy. So, now, where's my force field? I want a force field. What do we do next? Well, I can take a projector. And let's set a projector. Huh. How about, let's set them over here. Why not? So, what does this guy look like? Okay, got all sorts of confusing stuff. Now, what's kind of interesting is... Well, actually, before that, let's link it into the system. Those two are linked. We can see there's only how many devices? Link devices, one. Just that guy. Let's link up another device. So, I think what I do is I right-click on you. Okay, so everything you want to start with the capacitor. Come over here and... Power link, drop it in, boom. And is it linked? Two devices linked, sweet. So that's what goes in there. Now, as far as other things, what's kind of helpful, I see how that's borderlined with red. I can probably put anything that has a red border in it. So let's take the module cube, which has really been one of the few that I've played around with. But if I stick that in there, don't. It then gives me more places that I can upgrade. Notice I take that out, it's saying X'd out. Put that in, there's one spot that I can put in. So, let's see here. What, co what color was that again? That was purpley blue. So, purpley blue, it looks like we can put in these field projector thingies. So, boom, 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 right in there. That's where we can do the upgrade. There's also other optional upgrades we can do, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, this guy to get going is going to need a little power going on. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Was I inside of the force field? Yeah. So, yeah, look at how much freaking damage that did real quick. So you don't want to stand in the middle of the force field. Now, it shouldn't hurt any other items unless you so choose it to. Also, take note, look at right there. That is not... There's a little hole in the force field someone could get through. So you'd be a little bit wary about that. If there's other blocks, it doesn't fill in the force field. just leaves it blank. But, yeah, I'm stuck in here. I can't get out. Help me. And if you... Oh, also, if you hit it, ow, you take damage. So, what else can we do? What else can we do? You know, we should charge up this multi-tool... Thing my bobber. See power link upload as it go there. Yay! So let's let that charge up. Okay, so other things we can do. That was a pretty small force field. You know, what can you really fit in there? Not very much. But we can take these projector module thingies. Let's put in let's put in four. Let's see how much that changes it. Ooh. So it went an additional four blocks, I believe. In each direction, does that make about sense? Let's see. How far did it go before? One, two, three. So I guess by default you have like three space, but it's actually in the fourth block it goes. So if we put in one, that's actually probably a lot easier to test. One, two, three. Now we have four out, four blocks of space. So if we put a whole bunch of these in, 
And you gotta always toggle the force field off and then back on again. And sometimes I'm getting these things where it still shows up a little bit, but it should go away quickly. Anyway, bam! Where'd it go? Is it on or off now? Should be on. Do we have plenty of that? Yep. So look at now we have a really big force field. Pretty dang cool. So what's the point of the force field once we have this big? Now some of the things that I'd like to use for it, let's make this a little bit smaller for now. Let's go with maybe eight. Just for testing. Okay, that seems good. And let's look over at our power. Is it able to hold up? It's at a hundred percent. And this guy's at a hundred percent, so It'll force field that size, we can deal with it. It doesn't look like it's used too much of this for psyllium as of yet, but I'm sure that burns through quickly, so we'll have to find other ways to deal with that. Anyway, other upgrades that we can do. The ones that I'm most interested in are going to be this guy, which is the NPC non-playable character defense. All right, well, that's pretty neat. And what this guy does when you stick it in there, and I believe that's optional upgrades, boom. Now, any type of mob that's in here is going to take damage and die. You know what? It's, it's nighttime. So let's do something. Let's find a mob and see if this works. Let's see. I think I got, yeah, I got some safari balls. These guys, I crafted off camera. But really easy. Ender pearls, gassed here. They're reusable. You just right click them on a mob. Let's actually grab a couple of those. They're not stackable. Interesting. And these are part of Mine Factory Reloaded, I believe. Most other people on the server have already played with them. So this will be our first time. Let's see if we can find a mob. Well, let's see. Ooh, creepers. Those probably aren't going to be the best idea. But we got a spider here. Grab a spider. Oh, come here. Okay, got a spider. Let's get an enderman. Thank you. And what else can we get? I don't want to do the creeper because he might blow up on me in case this don't work right. Can we get a zombie or skelly? Oh, perfect. All right, so let's grab a zombie. And let's hightail it out of here. All right. Man, Hypno did a thing where he reset the server I put it, he turned it off, put it on peaceful, and then turned it back to hard mode again. Just so with, in case there was mobs that were stuck underground, because we're seeing barely any. Um, if a zombie were to fall underground and pick up like an ink, ink sack or something, he'd never despawn. He'd stay there forever. And slowly but surely, our mob cap was decreasing more and more to the point where we saw almost no mobs. So that was a way to jumpstart it so we'd see more. I've definitely been seeing a lot more lately. Okay, so now we have our force field system. We've got our little mob thing. Let's let these mobs loose. Why don't we go... Dunk! There's a spider. And let's turn this on and see what happens. Fry! That's right. So pretty neat. I didn't see a drop there, but he just might not have been a drop in mob. Let's try the next guy. Let's try... A zombie. That's right, Mr. Zombie. Come try and get me. Fry. Alright, not bad. And lastly, let's try the Enderman. That would be nice. Have no Enderman great uh griefing at your base. You gonna die? I'm gonna look at you. What you gonna do about it? Come and get me. Did he die? Did you die or you're outside the force field? Creepy, man. They have the scariest sounds. Alright, so it looks like he hightailed it. Anyway, that's pretty neat. We can use this to not only mob traps, but to protect our base against anything. Now, other neat upgrades for this. I could see how this could be pretty annoying to always see this out. And I'm sure it probably causes a little bit of client-side lag to have there. There is this neat little upgrade, if I can grab it. All right. Camouflage. And this guy is probably a more mid-game thing. You actually need UU Matter to make it. But, you know, we got plenty of UU Matter. Let's 
put that in and dunk. Look at that, no force field. Wait, there is a force field. It's just invisible now. So that's pretty neat and probably something that we'll add on once we get our force field all set and going. So I like it. I like it. Let's grab this guy out now. Some other ones, other things. Let's see if I want to play around with it. Let's see. What are some other guys we could do? All right, so we can do a wall. Ooh, this one looks cool. I want to play with this. We've got, we already did the cube. We also got a sphere. Just look at that. And two, but look at that. Let's grab some of these guys. Some of these guys. We'll talk about what those are in a moment. All right. So, once you want to take everything out, as soon as I take this out, everything else is going to pop out. Yeah, it just pops out. So be careful where you're doing it and take notice. But let's try some other ones. So we did the cube. It was a perfect cube. If we do then the sphere, that should look like a sphere. Yeah, like a circle kind of. And you know what? It kind of does. Probably is a better example if you do a big one. I'm assuming doing something like this looks a little bit cooler. And you can probably save on having to use quite as many force field blocks. Cut off those corners. But interesting nonetheless. Pop that out. And that, of course, you can make bigger just by adding in how many different upgrades. Oh, it actually let me use two upgrades. Let's, uh, we'll look at it for a second. All right, so let's first do this guy. This is going to increase the distance of it. All right, so there's our bigger cube. All right, cool. And then let's see what this other upgrade is. I think this is going to be the strength one. I think this is how thick the force field is does it make it thicker yeah look at that see it's going all the way out as far as like what do we have 10 blocks out whereas if we have it only two in there now it's an additional two blocks out you can see how i can kind of see the corner there and i think this is going to make it a little bit more like protection because i think if someone's going fast enough and if they have like you know enough energy maybe like a quantum suit or something they could probably sneak through it maybe so but it gives a little bit more protection makes a thicker force field and i think you can also prevent people from going through it in certain areas if it's thick enough um even if they have a tool to get through your force field so that's that one i don't know if any of that stuff i'm kind of blabbering excuse me excuse me and let's try the cube did tube. What the heck is the tube? All right, so this is giving two options again. I'm guessing it's the same. Let's see if we just use one. Look at that, a little tube, and it's only one big. Okay. So if we add on, let's make it larger. Make it larger by seven. And then let's put in that wall thing again. So we'll put it on two. So now I'm assuming it's gonna be two wider. Yeah, see that? And this stuff is so neat. You can just walk right on top of it as long as you're not hitting it, ow. But yeah, we can make, let's make a really long tube. And chunk. Now it's 10. Awesome, so you can slowly manipulate your force field to be bigger and bigger and in the shapes that you want. And there's even more that you can do, just setting up a single wall and all sorts of crazy stuff. Let's see. So, that guy's done. I think, is there anything else in here that we wanna do? I think that's all. Oh, this one, yes, containment. And this is what I thought we could play around with today a little bit for the rest of the episode. If I put in the containment, all right, look at that. Boom. Okay. So I think this here is going to be, instead of, let's, let's flip this around over to this other side. Is this wrench? This wrench works. Okay. So over on the other side, we have all of our force field stuff and we want to contain something. So that would be zero blocks containment. Let's see, let's add in a couple more. Let's add in 
where are you? Yeah, so we'll add in seven. So now it should be seven. Oh, that's seven away from you. Interesting. All right, we'll take that out. We'll do it one away from us. And then put this guy in. What's that going to do? We'll do that five. All right, so now that makes five wide. Well, actually, this guy has more spots that we can do other upgrades. Okay, so let's go in here. And I think what we need, let's put some of these back. We now use, where are you? Ah, there we go. Oh, and we already had some focus matrix. Now with these, if we were to put one on each side here, chunk, cool. So it goes one direction, one in every direction. So then if we did, let's say, oop, wrong one again. Let's go, oh, that clip. Oh, those are threes. They look like eights to me. Derp. All right, so let's go five in every direction. Three, four, five, four, five. And boom, look at that. We have a little containment cell. That is pretty neat. And here, you could, I guess you could trap someone, putting him in jail, or we could put a mob in there, and he wouldn't be able to escape. That's pretty interesting. I wonder what mobs we can actually fit in there. If we wanted to, we could then put on other stuff such as that NPC defense thing, and it would just fry up the mob that's inside of there. So that's pretty neat. Takes a moment, it's got a second of lag, but that is pretty neat. Why don't we see what we can trap in there? Let's see if we can grab some witches with a safari ball. I think it might have to be new ones. It might have to be from not from a spawner. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? We probably got a slime in here. Ooh, look at all that. I'm going to stop the recording for a second. Ooh, I saw a bunch of mobs in there. All right. That's much better, much better. So let's go find these mobs. I hear slime somewhere. Let's see if we can find them. I can't believe it. I was just looking at the time of the recording. We're already going for 27 minutes. That's insane. I thought we were like five minutes in. All right. So got the slime. This is pretty neat. I really am liking this. These safari balls maybe we'll have to start playing with mine factory pretty soon pretty soon but let's go over here let's see if we can get a witch too by the way i put in these glass viewers which are freaking awesome i love them i, I don't know why i thought because i used Opifine with connected um with all the connected sides connected blocks i thought it would be the exact same as what the glass viewer was but no this is freaking horrible in comparison. So much better. So I think I'm going to have to replace a lot of spots. I use glass. Anyway, let's see if we can grab a witch from here. They're all going to go ape on me right now. Maybe I should do it from a little bit higher. All right, can we grab one of you? Can I grab one of you? I don't think I can. All right, here we go. Now they're going to go ape. Can I grab you? Come here. No. No. Oh, oh, I can. I can! I could grab a witch from a spawner? Oh, that's cheaty. That is so cheaty. Alright. Let's go back up. Ow, ow, ow. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's go back up here. And it's nighttime, of course. I could have just got stuff. And let's throw down... Let's see. Where did this go again? How big was it? Alright, so not that big. We're going to have to do this quick. Let's throw down the slime first. Go down slime and slime. And quick, turn it on. Oh, we need to make it bigger. We need to make it bigger. Slime, get... Do you not have enough room in there? Come on, back up, back up. Back up, you crazy guy. Maybe if I go over here, he'll... Okay. Ooh, weakness. Oh, so I guess if you... If I hit... If I hit this, am I getting... That's pretty cool. I'm getting weakness. All right, but so now we got him trapped. And can he glitch his way through? I don't know. All right, now let's put in the fryer. Shroom. Oh, nope, I got to turn. Oh, man, we got to turn it off first to do it. All right, slimy slime. Get back there. Quick, turn it on. Get back, get back. Ooh, it got smaller. 
Why'd you get smaller? All right, now it's bigger. All right, that was a bad test because he was way too big. Let's try the witchy witch now. Come on, witchy witch. Sounds like I have a speech impediment saying Richie Rich, witchy witch. All right, that's pretty neat. I think I wanted to get into doing some other cooler stuff and maybe try and set this up with our mob trap downstairs, but I think we're running out of time for today. So, knowing what I know now with this stuff, I'll try and get things set up so that we can just start off with that right away next time. Let's try and bang through this force field stuff. And then let's try and also set up next time a force field that goes around our entire base. So, and there's also lots of other neat blocks. Let's just, I wasn't going to look at them yet, but just stuff to look forward to that are pretty neat. We've got defense station. We got security storage. We've got... Do we already have that? Yeah, another security thing and a converter. So let's just look at these real quick. Let's get rid of these safari balls, bulking up my inventory. All right, so some other stuff. The converter, I think what this does is this converts. It's like the MFFS. I hate saying that. It's such a long name. It looks like it can convert different types of power. I don't know if it's just to the FE energy or if it's to all types of energy or what. So that's something neat. Let's see, as far as the security storage, it's got its own special little security chest thing. Yeah, and then we can store stuff in. Looks like probably other people can't get into it. And then these two, we have the defense station. And here we're able to make different types of cards so that not everyone can get into our area. And let's see, is that do something? I can then do uh, validity, and I can say only certain amounts of items, can't break blocks, can't play around with my control systems, can't wrench stuff, or can't edit the system. So pretty neat. I can enter that in for different players on the server to protect me. And then we have the defense station, and that's neat. It's got like a little laser on there. And here we can have a message go out to other players and say, yeah, don't do this or that. Let's see, what are other stuff we can do here? Ooh, kill players without SR gathers his equipment. Huh, interesting. We could do that for that. Scans for stuff. Kill non-playable characters. Kill hostile NPCs. Kill only friendly ones. All right, so that's pretty neat. And it looks like I can do different perimeters for the warning. Yeah, so lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff to get into. So let me know, guys. Is this something that we should really pursue further in other episodes? I'm liking it so far. I think it's worth doing a couple on just to get to know this mod. It's definitely unique. Definitely nothing else like it. And I think it could also make for some pretty cool pranks on people. So let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. Peace out.